I'm Jen from GoBankingRates.com. Today I'm going to be discussing the benefits and the process of depositing your check online through a mobile app. A lot of my friends have asked me, Jen, is it really worth it to use mobile banking apps? To that I say yes. For one thing, it's free. And another thing, you don't have to stand in lines for long periods of time. And it's easy to use. So let me go ahead and walk you through that process now. Here's what you'll need to start using Chase Quick Deposit. First, set up a Chase online account through your personal computer. The second step is to have your smartphone handy. Either an iPhone or Android phone will suffice. Third, download the Chase mobile app on your phone. Finally, grab your check and get ready to start. Now that you have the Chase app installed, tap the icon to get started. Enter your Chase online username and password, then click deposit. Now it's time to take a picture of your check. Press the check front button to take a picture of the front of the check and activate your phone's camera. Turn the phone over and position the camera so that the entire check is within the borders of the box shown on the screen. When you're ready to take a picture, click the camera button on the phone. The app will show you a preview and ask if you'd like to retake it. If you do want to retake it, go ahead and press retake. If you'd like to use that image, click use. Now, press check back. From here, you'll need to take a picture of the back of the check. Before taking a picture, make sure that the check is fully endorsed and again that the check remains within the border of the screen's box. When you're ready, press the camera button. If you're satisfied with the image, go ahead and click use or you can retake the image again. From here, you've already entered all of the required information in the fields and have successfully taken a picture of the front and back of the check. Now all you need to do is click Next. An email will be sent to you once the deposit has been received by the bank. In my experience, it could take up to three to five business days to have the funds fully cleared. One quick tip though, before discarding of the check, you want to keep this on hand until the funds have fully cleared. Once the funds have cleared, then you can securely dispose of the check as necessary. Thanks for watching GoBankingRates.com. Looking forward to seeing you soon.